The vendor is entitled to one bid. We call that the vendor's bid. If I exercise the right of the vendor, I will clearly announce it has been exactly that, the vendor's bid. And finally, it's against the law for anybody to act in a manner which prevents free and open competition under auction conditions here this morning. So, ladies and gentlemen, they are the formalities out of the way, the contract and the terms and conditions which will remain on display for the duration of the auction. Well, look, this is just a fantastic opportunity here this morning in the inner west here in Sydney, one of four Cambridge Street in Stanmore, a beautifully presented ground floor two bedroom apartment of course that is uh, modern throughout where you can simply walk in and enjoy the property. You've got all this wonderful streetscape as you step off the street and garden before you go into the property. You've got the parking which we know how important that is and it's all about lifestyle with Enmore, Newtown, Stanmore, everything right here in which you walk out your front door and it's just a short stroll. So ladies and gentlemen, one of 40 Cambridge Street in Stanmore is a fantastic opportunity. Without any further ado, I hand it over to you, ladies and gentlemen, for an opening bidder offer to get me underway here this morning. Where do we go and where do we start? You're going to have to bid if you want to buy the property, so I'm in your hands. Something between 900 and a million, maybe, and we see where we go from that point. It's where we finish that matters most, not necessarily where we start. But I'm in your hands, looking for an opening bid to start me. 1 of 40 Cambridge Street. Where do we start proceedings? You're going to have to be the highest bidder at some stage here this morning if you want to own the home. So where do we start? Who's going to get me underway? First call. Second call. Can't do it without you. Throw a number at me, ladies and gentlemen. We see how we go and we can move forward from that point. 900. Thank you, sir. Buy number three and we're away and I appreciate that. So we have an opening bid, ladies and gentlemen, of 900,000. Where do we go from there? At 900,000. And right at the moment, sir, you're the only one that can purchase a property because you're the highest bidder and that's exactly where you need to be under auction conditions. At 900,000. Going once. Going twice. At $900,000 I bid. We've got other interests, but if you don't bid, ladies and gentlemen, you can't own it. At 900000 for the third and final time. 9-10, I'll go with you, man. 14-20, sir, to put you back in front. I'll keep it in 10s at the moment. Maybe 50 would be better, but I'll take another 10 and we make it 20. 9-10 I have. At 9-10. 9-10's the bid right here. Buyer number four. At 9-10. 20, sir. Back in front. Because the bid's here. I don't want anything less than just at the moment. Than tens at nine ten we have going once twice third and final time nine thank you sir nine twenty nine twenty I bid you don't have to look far to see where your competition is do you ma'am but you two focus on me not each other okay plenty of time for that afterwards nine twenty do I have thirty ma'am to put you back in front nine twenty it is one of forty Cambridge Street at nine twenty do we have thirty nine twenties a bid. At 920,000 now, make no mistake, first, second, 920,000 we bid. Are we out, ma'am? Because the bid's here and it is against you. Any further interest? 920. No? Because I, when I don't get a nod or a shake, I just presume it's a no, only because that's the only way I can determine what you want to do. 920 is a bid. So 930, 930 on the nod. 930, 40, sir. Back in front, 9.30's the call. At 9.30 now. At 9.30, buy number four at 9.30, sir. Take a five if it helps you. At 9.30, 9.35 to nudge you back in front. 9.30's the call, though. 1 of 40 Cambridge Street, ladies and gentlemen. Stan Moore, a fanta fantastic opportunity. At 9.30,000, ground floor, two bedrooms, nothing to do with parking. Move straight in. At 9.30, we bid once. We bid twice. Take it, 9.33, mate, 9.35, 9.37, sir, 9.35, another two, 9.35, buyer number four, at 9.35 we bid, at 9.35 now, at 9.35 it is against my opening bidder, it's back to you, ma'am, at 9.35, at $9.35,000, we in or out, once, twice, is that a no, sir? 9.35. Well, Erkin, the highest bid at the moment is right here, buy number four at 9.35, so just bear with us. We are going to talk to our vendors, ma'am, so don't go away. 9.35,000, ladies and gentlemen, is the bid at 9.35,000. 1 of 40 Cambridge Street in the inner west here in Sydney, a fantastic location. 9.35, I bid, buy number four against my opening bidder. If anybody else wants to have the opportunity to purchase the property, 
I suggest you declare your hand and put your best foot forward right now to avoid disappointment. At 9.35,000, at 9.35, at 9.35, buyer number four, at 9.35 I have, at 9.35 is the bid. Right here, $9.35,000. Highest bid, here, can buy number four at 9.35. Just bear with us, we're just gonna have a quick chat. 9.35, a touch of flexibility is probably all we need. We'll be in a position hopefully to sell under the hammer this morning. At 9.35,000, at 9.35. Brendan, any interest there on the phone at this stage? 9.35, okay. 9.35, we bid for 1 of 40 Cambridge Street, ladies and gentlemen, in Stanmore. I won't keep you uh, waiting too much longer, as I'm sure you can understand, buying and selling a home. It's a big decision for all involved. And as you'll hear me say a lot on Saturdays, we've got to give everybody ample opportunity to be able to make that decision. At 9.35, at 9.35's the bid, sir. Against you there, we are talking to the highest bidder. Just bear with us at 935,000, of 40 Cambridge Street. A beautifully presented ground floor apartment at 935, at 935 now, at 935, at 935 we have. At 935,000, ladies and gentlemen, at 935's a bid. We're just referring to our highest bidder, as I said, a touch of flexibility. At 935,000, at 935's a bid, one of 40, Cambridge Street. 9.35, I think I'll be saying that in my sleep tonight, won't I? 9.35, looking for just a little bit more if we can achieve that. At 9.35,000, 1 of 40 Cambridge Street. At 9.35, at $935,000, a beautifully presented two-bedroom ground floor apartment with parking. And we are referring and talking to our highest bidder. We won't keep you waiting too much longer, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate your patience. At 9.35, the bid. At 9.35,000, ladies and gentlemen. How are we going there, Erkin? 9.35,000. Just bear with us. 1 of 40 Cambridge Street. At 9.35,000. 9.35. Okay, so increase to 9.75. Okay, so I'll just confirm that, ma'am. Okay, we've got an increased offer, ladies and gentlemen to 975,000. Your number, ma'am, is buyer number four and we are selling under the hammer. So 975,000 is your bid, ma'am. We are selling and playing for keeps. It is going to be sold. One of 40 Cambridge Street in Stanmore. We're selling in the inner west in Sydney at 975,000 for the first, sorry, 980. 980, buyer seven, welcome, sir. I'll come and uh, play cards with you one night, sir. You've, uh, you play a very good game. Keeping that nice and quiet to the last minute. At 980, man. Do you want to make it 985? 985, 990 now. 990 is a bid. 995. Want to round me off at a mill? Had a million a bid. I bid a million now, ma'am. Do you want to make it a million and five? You're about to own it. Had a million now. Had a million dollars is a bid and offer. Buyer number seven. Had a million and five. Had a million and five. Ten, sir. Million and five, I bid. Had a million and five now. Had a million and five thousand. Back to you, ma'am. We're selling. It is going to be sold. Another five makes it a million and ten. Million and ten now. Fifteen, ma'am. Had a million and ten. Another five. We're selling at a million and ten. One of 40 Cambridge Street is going to be sold. The bid is with you, sir, at one million and ten thousand. Are we out? And eleven. One million and eleven. Fifteen. A million and fifteen. Had a million and fifteen now. Had a million and fifteen. Sixteen. Million and sixteen. Million and sixteen it is. Eighteen. Million and eighteen. Had a million and eighteen now. Ma'am, what would you? Nineteen. Million and nineteen. 20, million and 20, million and 20 now. We're selling under the hammer at a million and 20. One, million and 21, 21 it is. Had a million and 21. We're in or out, sir. Bids here. We're selling under the hammer at a million and 21,000. One of 40 Cambridge Street in Stanmore. Had a million and 21,000. Once, twice, third and final time. Hammers up. You out, sir? because it's going to be sold. At a million and 21,000, buyer number four, hold on. A million and 21, we're finished. Once, twice, 
Third call, all done. Sold, ma'am, congratulations. A million and twenty-one thousand dollars. Commiserations to my underbeaters, but no better team than Erkin Urson and the group to find you a terrific home from Ray White Erskineville, Surrey Hills, Alexandria. Thank you for being here today on behalf of everyone. Have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you again somewhere very soon. Thank you. Oh. What a way to kick off the auctions today. How can you not love on the auction right here on auction day? That was amazing. They, <laughs> I'd love to know. So what did Erkan Ersan say when they went inside? The bidding was at 9.35. And, and after it had a, stopped dead. It, it was, had stopped. It after crickets. a conversation, it jumped up 40K to 9.75 and the horses bolted. That was amazing. It was. It was extraordinary to watch. Somebody was in the crowd there thinking, I've got this at 9.35, when it all sort of went quiet for a moment. And Look, then there was obviously two strong bidders, including that lady who went inside, and she was the final bidder, which was great. She went inside. I don't know whether he pointed out that the, the gold handles in the kitchen are actually made of gold, or <laughs> I, I don't know what he offered, her movie tickets. I mean, it was really something unique about this property. We spoke to the agent earlier. The previous sale in April of last year was 910000 in the same block. So we were thinking when it started off at 9 910. Okay, this is pretty realistic because the market has cooled off a little bit, but Stanmore is pretty hotly contested. Great, uh, you know, renovated old building turned into apartments and 1021000 for this property. Um, there you can see there from uh, the research here, estimated value 950 last yeah. sold for 730. Amazing. It, it sold for 730 in 2013. So that, right, that so it's was, a, but quite... apartments have been transacting in this building as Erkin told us a little bit earlier at um, around the 910, but he did say this is the pick of the apartments in this converted convent in Stanmore because it's it's the ground floor, it gets a lot of natural light. There is a pool in the complex, but as you identified, James, yeah. the strata fees are really pricey. They are quite high. It's only a four apartments in this block, but it, the strata fees are um, 1227 a quarter. Um, now, it would be because of that pool, so they, they, they're quite high. Um, you know, that, that that's quite reasonable, but the block... Uh, looks like it's really well maintained. You can see by those gardens, those standards on either side of the doors of those apartments on the bottom, um, the, the entry doors. Um, and obviously you need that pool and the grounds looked after a great building and really well presented apartment inside, two bedroom, two bath and one car. And as you rightly pointed out when we spoke to Erkan, um, it was great having the two bedrooms on opposite ends and the two bathrooms because it's perfect as a rental in, um, investment. Too late, James. It's already sold. You can't be talking it up now. <laughs> Uh, it's good. Well, look, a really nice Solzwell. period bathroom in there as well. It's got character, but it's so well presented. And the, the footage here, we did also compliment him on this. It's beautiful. It's just like watching a slow motion architectural digest. It certainly is. Um, but we can't dwell on this because we've got six more auctions to get I through know, today. Seven today. It's a massive day in auction <laughs> it land, is isn't it? Day. Really good result.